Hello, today I'm going to show you how I am powering my Arduino board which operates with two servo motors from Dynamixel. Uh, usually for the purpose of testing I'm using a laboratory power supply, um, but in a real application I would expect to use a battery pack. Uh, in my case this is 11.1 volt uh, over 5000 milliamperes per hour. Uh, battery pack from the GPX Extreme, um, so quite powerful. As you probably know, the uh, Arduino board can be powered using several ways. One of them is this uh, Japanese jack, which can accept from 7 till 12 volts, as far as I remember. Uh, the other one is uh, VIN which has to be no less than 6 volts and you can also use 5 volts pin however uh, it's not very safe because there is no protection and you have to deliver exactly 5 volts to this pin so you can't uh, you can't do any mistake uh, okay but in my case I decided to built kind of DUI DC DC converter which is flexible uh, and can power up more than one uh, logic board it can be Raspberry Pi uh, Jetson Nano uh, Arduino uh, late panda whatever you like uh, and it is using a single battery as a power source so let me show you <coughs> how it works I will turn on the converter and you can see that my servo motor started to operate and the shield uh, indicator is turned on as well. Um, yeah, so this is one of the of the approaches that might be possible. Uh, let me let me turn off this for a second and I will briefly uh, go over the structure of this. So this is very simple one PCB universal board. Um, it has two um, DC-DC step-down converters. One of them is 3 amperes for the more demanding uh, um, boards and the second one is 6 volts uh, fixed. Uh, I will probably use it for Arduino and the second one I will use for Jetson Nano, we'll see. Um, so the, the cost of this is very cheap, however it requires some soldering skills to do it. Uh, my approach was like kind of ad hoc, uh, so uh, it not the, it, it's not the, the most beautiful board, but uh, it works. Okay, so thank you for now and see you later.